Okay, so let's go and create a new function here. We'll go to lists. List as return values, All right? So let's look at that one too. Uh, I can just work with this. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll do the same piece here. Oh, I did right. So return uh, list one. Okay, so let's go and create a test case. We're gonna we're gonna see how it behaves like we did for uh, just using it as a parameter, but now we are using it as a parameter and returning it, right? So we're like, uh, what happens in memory with uh, that use case? So let's go here, list as return value. Okay, so we have that. And then uh, list as return value. A quick fix. And tell it to import for us. Now it knows what we're talking about. And we pass the list. But then uh, we'll create a new variable, return list, right? Because this list as return value returns a list for us. And what we want to do is we want to create an assertion. We want to compare list one to the return list first, right? That's like the first thing we want to do. Like, and uh, what do you all think? Is it going to be like the same list or not the same list? So if it's the same list, then it's true. If it's not the same list, then it's false. So let me take input on the chat again for this one. Okay, false. Uh, one more false or two more truths. So if I could get some more uh, input again. Input for what? Like, does this example here, uh, is list one the same list as return list? That's what we're trying to decide. And if you don't know, just guess, right? So uh, you can provide some input. Okay, so two false. Okay, so now we can we can say okay, false. Right. Okay, so let me uh, go here. Clear. Run test. Run it. And according to Python, right, the test case is saying that it's true. All right, so it's kind of like wait, wait, what? So we're like, okay, so so they're the same list, and then we're like, well, what does that mean? Can we say that element zero equals to let me let me do this. Uh, what's the value? One hundred, right? So. 100 and then I'll create another assertion and I'll say return list element 0 is also equal to 100 and then finally that's so we can get a visual of what's happening and then here we'll say element 0 element 0 right so we're like you mean this is a case of two variables pointing to the same list Right, so that's what we want to find out. So we're like, uh, okay, let's clear. Run test. <clears throat> Run. And again, we always want to doubt ourselves, right? So list as return value. So we go here, and it's right here. List as return value. It says it's okay. So if you were having trouble following all this, <laughs> all these different assertions, right? So then let's uh, create some uh, let's create a diagram to understand what went on right so we go here 
and this was a uh, list as return value. <clears throat> so let me first uh, create, uh, copy this code here. <clears throat> And then in main, uh, we call list as return values, right? Let's see, what do we do? Uh, we go to the test case, and we had this piece. That's good enough for right now. Okay, so what's happening here? Uh, let's go here. So we'll eventually like do some creative stuff with lists, but it's also important to understand how they work uh, in memory and with functions. Because if uh, you're working with lists in the future, right, then you're like, oh, I know, I know what, what's happening. So main gets loaded. List one. And then, of course, these are made up numbers here. Assuming we got the same address block, 5, 3, 10, 108, 1, 1, 12. So that means this one is Y104. Then we have a, a new variable return list. So we create return list. It doesn't have any values yet. It's going to get the value that is returned from list as return values. So when this runs, it gets its own memory block. And it has list one list one so what's happening is this is y104 right we know that but this value here once we change the value to 100 right we're like hey change the value to 100 so that value is changed to 100 this points to that this also points to that so that's when we change the value we went through this example earlier right where two variables are pointing to the same list and this statement here is able to modify the original list so we know that but we're curious and interested in what happens to return list right so we are returning list one but in that case we're not returning the whole list what we are returning is <coughs> y104 right so again what happens when list has return values <coughs> finishes executing well it's return is removed from memory but before it's removed from memory the return the return uh, statement probably gets its own memory block here the return value it has y104 and that is copied to the return list variable that variable right there so then this one is y104 this is removed from memory meaning this is no longer pointing there because well that variable doesn't exist anymore but now we have two variables referencing the same list so that's when we were doing all those comparisons in the test case uh, the values the list were the same and the elements were the same because we were uh, pointing to the same list Questions here? So meaning like it's kind of like uh, overkill or what's the word I'm looking for? Redundant, right? So returning a list is redundant. Like we might as well just remember that when you pass a list as a parameter and you modify the list in the function, then it's modifying the original list so then we don't really in in this use case right we don't need to return the list questions okay so uh 
uh, not what I did. Uh, let me go back to my code space. I'll commit those changes. And I'll ask one, one more time. Any questions? Okay, no questions. Let me stop.